like to thank everyone for coming for the uh, oath of office ceremony. If you could all rise for me for the presentation of the college. Right. I'll stand for four. Good old Joe me reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. I'd like to uh, welcome Pastor Wendell Brown to come up and do the invocation. If you would, it's proper to stand. If you would stand for prayer. With bowed heads, Jesus, you are the center of our joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you. You are the source of our contentment. All that we say and do, Jesus, you are the center of our joy. And right now, Lord, we express great joy as these young men are inducted into a position, into a career where they will save lives, where they will offer services to those that need help. We ask you, O oh God, to look over this ceremony, the vows that they will take, the words that, that are said. We ask you to let them take them to heart. And we pray that you will protect them, O oh God, as they go about their daily duties. We thank you, Lord, for this department, the officers, and for this great community. In your great name, we pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen. And amen. Thank you, Pastor Brown. You may, may be seated. Um, today we're here to recognize the nearly three months of training that our news recruits have finished. Um, during this time, they've completed Firefighter 1 and 2, they've completed hazmat operations and awareness, and many more skills that will help them in their job. Um, they have spent this time learning and practicing these skills to become a firefighter. Um, a battalion chief, Edward F. Crocker from the New York City Fire Department once said, when a man becomes a fireman, his greatest act of bravery has been accomplished. What he does after that is all in the line of work. <clears throat> You've chosen a profession that comes with many descriptions, strong, brave, fearless, protector, courageous, heroic, these words that now describe you are because of generations of firefighters that have exhibited these traits. You now follow a long line of men and women that have sacrificed their time, health, and sometimes their lives in the noble profession of helping others. Your responsibility is to strive to live up to these ideals, continuously strive to become a better firefighter. Listen and learn from the firefighters that surround you each day. Take pride in your new profession. Now, I wanna thank all of your families of these two men who have come to honor them today and for sharing them with our community. Um, they will spend a lot of time away from the house. They will miss a lot of holidays, Christmases. They may, you may be opening Christmas presents the day before or the morning after, um, but that's just a, kind of the sacrifice we make in this job, working the shifts we do. 
Um, you are crucial to their success as a firefighter. This job comes with sacrifices that most people don't have to make. And I want to thank your families for the sacrifice you're making with them for this community. Um, I would like to thank the Kokomo Fire Department, uh, Chief Sewell, Training Chief Sewell, for spending time teaching you guys, uh, spending time. You've been taught by our entire department basically over the last three months. Um, you've learned a lot. You've uh, been through a lot. You've probably done things that were a little bit uncomfortable, but you got through them and learned how to do them correctly. And all of these things will help to serve you in your career and make you a better firefighter. And for that, we thank you guys for your time and commitment, and we ask you to keep it up through your career. And now I would like to welcome Mayor Tyler Moore, who continues to show his support for our department with his time and attention. And uh, he has some comments, and then we will do the oath for office. Thanks, Chief. Yes, thank you, Chief. Um, people often ask what the best part of uh, this position is, and moments like these have become the most cherished. I mean, anytime we can bring new first responders, new firefighters into the fold. Um, as Chief mentioned, you've already been welcomed into the family. Today, we just get to make it official. Um, but it's an honor and a privilege to have you uh, join the ranks of the Kokomo Fire Department. Um, as you can see, you've already got support, not only just through the three months, but here today, uh, when you take the formal oath uh, and uh, I too am, am committed to continue to support you along with your brothers and sisters on the department. And I thank you for the service and the sacrifice you've already given that you'll continue to give and give in the future. But I echo Chief's uh, comments as well to the family and the friends. Uh, you two are now agreeing to and, and serving and sacrificing as well to allow your sons, grandsons, <laughs> uncles, nephews, every, whoever they may be, however you call them, uh, to be a part of this family and, and to serve and, and to sacrifice and to be away from, from family at times. And knowing that they have your support at home uh, is going to be crucial as they continue to serve you know, so many in our community. So I welcome you, I thank you, and I look forward to working with you. So, Chief? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Dramatic pause. <laughs> Firefighting. Go for engine six rescue one hour medics. Engine six rescue one hour medics. Boulevard on the fountain. Boulevard on the fountain. Emergency. Engine PI. All right. Now, if you guys would like to come up, stand over here to the side, and uh, bring your. Uh, are you going to hold? You want to hold the live hold? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to, uh, the mayor is going to administer the oath of office. Anyone else want to join? Come to stand with them. That's perfect. <laughs> Start out individually and then jointly. So if you'll raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Anthony Clayton. I, Anthony Clayton. And I, Andrew Delmas. I, Andrew Delmas. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States of America. The Constitution of the United States of America. And the state of Indiana. And the state of Indiana. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Both foreign and domestic. Both foreign and domestic. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. And impartially. And impartially. Discharge the duties. Discharge, discharge the duties. As a firefighter of the Kokomo Fire Department. As a firefighter of the Kokomo Fire Department. Under the above appointment. Under the above appointment. According to the laws of the state of Indiana. According to the laws of the state of Indiana. And the city ordinances. And the city ordinances. To the best of my skills and ability. To the best of my skills and ability. So help me God. So help, help me God. God. Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome to the Thank you. You, guys can, you guys can stay up here. We're not done with you yet. <laughs> Chief Sewell, if you'd like to come up. So now we are going to uh, actually present them with their badges. And uh, they've officially started, but this is 
the beginning of their careers, and uh, this is when they would get their badges. Uh, first, we have Anthony Clayton. I'd like to give these two uh, round of applause. Do you guys want to remain there for a second? And uh, I would like to uh, ask Pastor Brown to come out and close. Um, that is the end of our ceremony. After we get done, we will all go back to fire station number one, and these guys can show you where they're going to be working and spending a lot of time over the next few years. <laughs> Please indulge me just for a few moments. For a few moments before you stand. <laughs> Congratulations to Officer Fire, or excuse me, Fire Fighter Andrew Domus, and congratulations to Firefighter Anthony Clayton. And Anthony, uh, I am his pastor, so this is a special honor for me to be here today. Uh, proud of you proud of both of you. If it was not for, and I said I wasn't going to do this, but if it was not for this department and their quack, quick acting, I would be a widower today. In October 22nd, 2018, mm -hmm. your fire chief was the first one on the scene to administer help to my wife who was lodged underneath a semi. They pulled her out, their quick response, got her to Indianapolis, and today, almost four years later, she's not completely where she used to be, but she is less cane dependent than she was last year. Yes. And she's getting better every day. But the job that you guys do, <clears throat> I have the greatest level of respect for you. And I pray that you are just half the firefighters that your chief is. I will forever be in debt to this man here because he saved, first on the scene, he saved my wife's life. Can we stand? Whew. I won't let a day go by without praising his name I won't let a day go by without praising his name I won't let a day go by without praising his name when I look back and see just where he bought me from Lord we thank you for this day we thank you for this department. We thank you for these men. We thank you for the great success of this union on today. As before, Lord, protect them. Guide them. Order their steps so that they may be the best that they can be, not only for the service of this community, but for your service. We thank you, O oh Lord, for this day, for how you have blessed it, and we pray favor and blessings upon these two young men and upon this entire department. Lord, for our entire community, we need your help. We appreciate you and we bless your name. We pray. Thank God. Amen and amen. Boy. All right. Amen. 
I'd like to thank everybody for coming. I know it's a special day for all of you. And uh, like I said, we invite you all back to the fire station. If you know where it is, follow these two. They know where <laughs> thank you.